Oh, hi there. Dan Amrick from OneOfSwords.com, and I'm sitting here right now at San Diego Comic-Con with Gerard Leharny, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, 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 I try hard with the international names I do. I'm just a dumb American, but he is the creative director over at Beanox. They're working on Spider-Man Edge of Time, and you guys just announced that you have a release date now. Yeah, October the 4th. Everyone will be able to play. Well, you can actually play down the, the game, but uh, it will, the release date is on October the 4th. Okay, so you've got you've got enough for people to play here at the show, uh, you know, hands on first time the mm -hmm. public's getting a chance. But what is the team when you're this close to the release date? What is the team focusing on? How are you just are you polishing? Is the game basically done and now you're balancing or you know, where are you in the development process at this point? Yeah, this is exactly that. It's it's about polishing and tuning and making every little thing perfect and all the little volumes in, in order for the player to hear everything and to be like a deep dive into the universe. It's all about that magical now. Uh, and you guys just announced some pretty major Hollywood talent in the game. How long have you been holding that secret? When did you actually get people like Val Kilmer and Katie Sackhoff, uh, you know, recorded for the game? Well, that's, that's pretty much uh, a, a while now, and it has been very hard to keep <laughs> the secret, you know? Working with Val Kilmer was just extraordinary, you know? You, you just... He just takes the character and he brings it to a whole new layer. Uh, working with uh, um, Katie Isakoff was just, you know, I'm a great fan of, of her work, so it was just uh, fantastic. And they, they really, they really built, th built these, um, the, the, the characters into the, into the game. And the story means a lot for the game. We really tried to make like, the best story of a Spider-Man game. Mm -hmm. And definitely having have his, those comedians helped a lot. We even had uh, Josh Keaton and Christopher Daniel Barnes to play the, the, the two Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And we actually had them together in the booth so they could really argue on each other and <laughs> playing together, you know? That's not usual in a video game, but right. we really felt that we needed that for our game. And uh, if you've seen the, tra I've seen the trailer that was just released in, in sort of in honor of mm -hmm. Comic-Con. Um, Black Cat plays a very prominent role. Like, you, you, we get to see both Mary Jane and Black Cat for the first time in this trailer. Yeah. Can you explain what Black Cat's involvement is, or does that give too much away at this point? Well, in fact, Amazing will be uh, will be able to met, to met Black Cat, but it's a kind of um, 2099 version of Black Cat. So he he doesn't really know, you know, if he is facing the the real one or someone that has also been altered by uh, those timeline travels thing. So it's kind of I don't want to say everything because you you have to discover that in a game, but it's a really tricky situation. Okay, sounds interesting. And we'll get to play this October 4th. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, great. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you're looking forward to it. If you want to know more, obviously go to facebook.com slash herohq. That's where all the Marvel game information is. Or, you know, check out my site. It's oneofswords.com, and I will keep you up to date on everything that I can find out. Thanks very much for the time, Gerard. Thank you.